Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday Night Football here at Larrakia Park, Darwin Football Stadium. And we have an absolute blockbuster of a match about to take place between the home side, Hellenic Athletic Club, and Mindelaces Football Club. They say occasions don't often get bigger than this in the world game, and certainly here in the Northern Territory, we are bear witness to history taking place. It's never occurred a title race so close this season. Of course, there were three sides a part of it, including the two before your screens and Casarina Football Club. And of course, now it's between two. One will end the night premiers. The others will end up runners up before we enter the final series. Currently, it's Mindelaces, 40 points in first place. Of course, a draw is all they require to have the premiership in the bag. Hellenic Athletic Club, if they are to win this evening, they will go to 41 and eclipse the Aces at the summit of the Men's Premier League. Head-to-heads this season in the league. One apiece. Hellenic 2-0 victors back on the 6th of May. And in the laces, a narrow victory in July. A 2-1 score as well. The Aces obviously also victorious in the Australia Cup finals rounds, knocking out the Blues. A late penalty there, sending the Aces on to the round of 32 eventually. They were to beat Casarina and represent the Northern Territory against Avondale. But tonight, their opponents are blue. And this game is going to certainly be entertaining for the neutral. Hellenic, blue and white. And they'll go right to left on your screens. And they'll get us kicked off and underway this evening. And laces in their all black and fluoro socks to play out this one the away side and Simon Bell there on your screens to get us kicked off and underway. Whistle blows and off we go. Carpathios. It's Roberto Sickles there in the centre. Comes back for Tega Ojeke. Now wide for Savas Trakilis, advancing it immediately forward to Parascos Coombe, trying to get away from Mifsud. Mifsud. Has possession there. All ball, says the referee. Kane McDowell with a strong challenge and escapes. Balls with Wallace now. Now Mountain in this defensive area. Barnaby Wood inside looking for Ali Bird. And now it's Sickles. And ball look to come out here. And free kick is blown. Dangerous challenge in there between two players. And Very early on, Tom Ali Burt there. The Aces play only coming off a suspension. Of course. Referee just saying a free kick. Nothing doing it in the cards department. And Carpathios presumably will send in a long ball looking for a teammate. And Greek number six comes in with the delivery. It's lofted deep and into the box. Wallace gets a header out. And this will trail out of play for a Hellenic throw. And they're attacking half. A surprising change to the Aces lineup. We've got James Carr, who is starting in a attacking position, occupying a spot alongside Tavian Ludwigsen as Fitzmaurice comes in with a delivery. Stefan Adarkas looked to play the ball. McNabb. Now to Carpathios across to. Roberto Sickles and now Alexander Turner, their captain, joining into the attack. And there's that man on your screens, James Carr, number 11, usually occupying a central defensive position, playing up front this evening. And now it's Josh Laguda. Coming away here to be Fitzmaurice, brought to the ground, referee waves, play on, and now a Jack A. All look to come all the way through, and it does for Tom Alibert of the Aces, goes wide to Joshua Laguda. Looking for attacking runs, and Laguda tries to switch the ball here for Tavian Ludvigsen, but this one will trail far and wide and out of play. Hellenic throw in here. Savas Trikilis with 
Ball in hand. Comes inside for Karpathios. Looking further forward, Evans picks it off. Joshua Evans advancing forward for the Aces, the central defender. Looking to proceed down for McDowell. Cross comes in and a Jack A does the right thing. And if in doubt, clear it out and certainly does that. Will be a corner kick to Mendel. First one of the evening for either side. And it will be taken by McDowell as well. Course, no strangers to a set piece goal. The Aces, and it comes by McDowell. It's Carr looked to get the header onto it. Bell for Hellenic got back and did some defensive duties there. Now Stefanodakis has the ball, gets it past Carr. Still with Nicholas Stefanodakis. Skillful work there to play in for McNabb. And now Sickles over to Stefanodakis once again. Trails back here for Alexander Turner. And this ball just trails out of play for a throw in. Of course, it is a long time to defend a score line like this. But as mentioned in the pre cast coverage, if the Aces are just to draw tonight, they will end as premiers. And first time in their club's history they'll finish the season on top of the pile as it stands on 40 points they've broken a club record previously 32 points the highest ever 32 points is the highest ever points total a shot comes in from Ludvigsen and that one goes wide may stand corrected on that statistic but 32 points I believe was their club highest points return and so they've eclipsed that by a number of matches and look to proceed on tonight and take out the league in an emphatic fashion. Coach Daniel McCormick will certainly be hoping for that result. Ajeke advancing out of center half with possession, sending it long looking for Paraskos Coombe. Matthew Mifsud, the experienced left back, back into defense this evening. Barnaby Wood with a lot of time here out wide. Fitzmaurice looking to get in there with Barnaby Wood. And this will be one uh, Hellenic throw. Fitzmaurice with ball in hand. Throws it swiftly down the line. Bell looking to bounce it in for Stefanodakis. Joshua Evans gets the touch onto it. And he's coming out of defense with the ball. Still with Joshua Evans. Gall galloping a fair distance and then proceeding to play it wide here for Tavian Ludvigsen turning on the ball and playing it back for Evans. Now Kane McDowell. Now Tavian Ludvigsen. Inside for Ali Burt. Back to Ludvigsen. Pressured and frustrated out wide here for the Aces. And now Karpathios away with possession for the Blues. Now Matthew McNabb. McNabb opts to go back to Fitzmaurice. Alex Fitzmaurice utilising his custodian there, K Kane McAdam. Very experienced goalkeeper. Certainly lives for occasions like this. Shaquille is playing the ball off Ludvigsen, but Mifsud comes in there with the clearance just to see it out to safety and play it out for a throw-in. Only six minutes gone here and a real opportunity so far. A lot of possession between two great ball-playing sides is... Savas Trakilis comes in with a throw. Looks to come out of defence for the Aces. And Ludvigsen strong to stand over that one and win the foul there as well. They look to go quickly. And it was a rolling start there from Mifsud. It's to kill the ball dead before playing it. Referee raises sharp to pick that one up. Comes wide here for Matthew Wallace, the Mindelaces captain. Now Wallace looks to go wide. Fitzmaurice picks it out. Matthew McNabb, possession in a deep area. Now Roberto Sickles, his experience and composure on midfield is very in, is invaluable for his side. Jack A looking to launch long. Evans will come back and see this wide to Mifsud. Mifsud goes 
further back to Stobart. The ace is custodian and now it finds its way to Joshua Laguda. Nice driven ball looking for Barnaby Wood and Kane McAdam comes in with a emphatic clearance and plays that over the stadium roof and back on for a throw. It's Mountain who will advance forward to take and Laguda back out to Dylan Mountain. Forced to go back to Matthew Wallace here. Mountain back to Wallace. Across to Joshua Evans. Laguda often likes to come back in a deeper position, receive the ball and carry his side forward. His long searching balls are often second to none. Now Evans goes for a longer delivery. Trakilis gets the header out. Carr joins in and Trakilis clears wide for Askos Coombe. Couldn't quite keep this one in play. BM into Lace's throw and they take it quickly. Ludvigson looking for Carr. Carr still a Jekke. He'll trail this ball wide for Matthew McNabb who turns inside. Matthew McNabb carrying forward looking to create a burst of space and heading it wide. Fitzmorris can't quite capitalise. Throw in. Laguda comes across for Joshua Evans. And Carpathios looking to pick it out, looking for Coombe. Mifsud tried to help it forward for Ludvigsen, but that one will trail out of play as well and go out of play for a throw. And so excitement is in the air and certainly reflected by a increased stadium capacity this evening fans coming in in strong to support their Hellenic and Mindelaces sides and that's indicative of the crowd that is still arriving as well now it's Alex Turner turning well on car creating that space and lifting it over the top there and that one will Skim wide for a throw for the Aces. It was a searching ball by the Hellenic captain, just not weighted correctly for McNabb to be able to capitalise. Thrown in by Mountain for Laguda. Back to Mountain and he searches long. Turner heads forward. Ali Burt coming out with possession. Ludvigsen cushioning it well for Carr. Carr slides across and plays it for teammate there but there's a free kick in there yellow card to Alex Fitzmaurice here very early on heavy challenge on Carr see on the replay here coming through with contact on the knee adjudicated by the referee as a cautionable offence as we skip past the 11th minute mark here. It's Joshua Laguda. Launching it forward. Headed out by Stefanodakis. Wallace looks to get the header back in there. Now Stefanodakis out with possession. Deflected ball on the way through. Couldn't quite see it to a Hellenic advantage. Ali Burt now and Kane McDowell. Inside for Tom Ali Burt. Frenchman looking to come out here and... Strong challenge put under him by Stefanodakis. Free kick blown immediately. McDowell. Now Wallace. He looks for a searching ball for Ludvigsen. And Kane McAdam can just stand underneath unopposed and look to roll out quickly for Savas Trakilis. Marching down this right hand flank is Trakilis inside for Bell. Misses the pass and Laguda profits. Looking is Laguda. Whips it across for Tom Ali Burt. And now Dylan Mountain. Now Joshua Laguda. 
He sends it wide for Ludvigsen. Just about keeps it in and the attack alive. Drives the ball into the box and Kane McAdam can stand there and confidently gather. And look for a long throw. Just launched it for Simon Bell. Evans gets the header out there. Mifsud will keep it in and proceed down the line and will eventually go out of play for a throw in for Hellenic. Trakilis throws down for Coom. Comes away from a couple and find its way to summon Bell. Keeps possession at his feet. Inside here for George Karpathios. Spins away forward for Stefan Adarkis. Doesn't quite work out there. Tom Alibert back over for Joshua Laguda. Now Matthew Wallace. Goes wide to Barnaby Wood. Fitzmaurice dispossesses him. And now Matthew McNabb. Outside the football, over the top, looking for Bell, and Stobart comes to that one and sees that cleared. Go up into the air. Now Carr galloping forward on an attacking run, and Ejeke had to be careful there and certainly sought refuge to his near side and puts it out for a goal, uh, corner kick, sorry. Dangerous attack coming up for the Aces. They have, of course, Carr committed forward. Wallace and Leguda arriving in the box. Ludvigsen as well comes by McDowell. It's inside and it goes in. James Carr, the man sent forward with a mission. And that was to put the ball in the back of the net. And he's done so 14 and a half minutes gone here. And it's the Mindel Aces who've opened the scoring. And it's a good finish there by James Carr. Opening goal of the contest goes to the way of the Aces. And now advantage very much Mindel. Get us kicked off and back underway. Carpathios across for Trakilis and now a Jeke. Looking inside for Coom, it'll zip past him. Joshua Evans will come back to claim. Laguda. Evans. Wide for Matthew Mifsud. Inside for McDowell. Sends it back into the widely direction. Tavian Ludvigsen receives and Tom Alibert's made a bursting run here. He's got Barnaby Wood out wide and time to lay in a ball. Carr there at the back post and not a bad attempt as well. Could have very much doubled his and the Aces tally this evening. McNabb receives the ball here. He'll be influential and if his side are to make a comeback. He plays a ball Looking for Parascos Coombe, but that one will unfortunately trail out of play for the goal kick. And a bit of time management perhaps can be can come into the fray into the latter stages of the game. It's still very much early doors to conduct any sort of time management here in this game just yet but it's only ever increased the urgency in which Hellenic needs to play Stobart clears down the line looking for Laguda heads off him Carpathios headed into an open space of which Laguda can profit comes to Ludvigsen now Laguda Chipping it down, looking for a teammate. A Jeke gets there, and now it's Berto Sickles here outside of the football. Finds Coombe, and he looks to dink it over the top. He's searching for Simon Bell, and Wallace 
is able to get there and just play it into touch. Out of play for a throw. Bell throws into Coombe. Back to Bell. Roberto Sickles now. Turning out of danger. Now it's Ludvigsen. Back to Mifsud. And there is a free kick there on McDowell, sorry, and halting up play. Now a free kick for the Aces to come out of their defensive half. Instead they opt to cross for Evans and they'll look to laterally clear themselves. Wallace can take a touch and come forward. Mountains made a run this right hand side. Will Wallace look to that direction instead? Look to go into the middle and he is fouled there. Laguda across to Evans. Now McDowell. Mifsud. Back searching for Stobart. Cross to Stobart again. Now Evans. Thumps this ball forward and Savas Trakilis applies the clearing header. Now Carr. McDowell and Mifsud's continued his attacking run. The launcher ball into the box. It's what he's done. Back post run made by Barnaby Wood. And that one trailing all the way through and out of play for a goal kick. Another dangerous almost ball there from the Aces. All in all, good defending from Fitzmaurice just to ensure that Barnaby Wood didn't get a killer touch onto that one. And just marshaled it out of play for a goal kick. Which McAdam has thumped forward. Fall into the head of Bell. Heads inside. And Evans does his own clearing work. And puts it out into touch. Linux throw. It's Morris. Throws down the line. Bell heads inside. Stefanodakis wins the challenge and Sickles tries to dink it over. Now James Carr. Two veterans locking duels there. And Carr won out momentarily, but now Hellenic can come out of defense. It's Morris down for McNabb. Immediately pressured in here. Hellenic throw. It's Fitz Fitzmorris with ball in hand. Looking for McNabb, playing it forward for Bell. Brings it down and now has played Stefanodakis. He's looking for an attacking run of Paraskos Coombe. Can come onto the end of this and kick it past Mifsud. Still Paraskos Coombe. And Wallace arrives and quells the danger. Ludvigsen. Now Mifsud. Going to play this forward. Tegera Jeke gets an outstretched foot. And Alex Turner comes across to clean it up and got a deflection off a lunging car and throw in to Hellenic. Immediately down the line for Coombe. Have to turn on Mifsud, but no touch there. Off the Mendel player. Out of play for a throw in. Which Mifsud looks inside for Carr, a Jack A blocking off and Sending it forward. Matthew Wallace for the Aces. Back across here finds Evans. Evans going down for McDowell. Mifsud looking to load up again, and that one will go out of play for a goal kick. Of course, many thanks to the Northern Territory Government and McDonald's for their continued and prolonged support for football for all in the Northern Territory. Goal kick to be taken by Kane McAdam. 
launching long, looking for Bell. It'll bounce over for Mountain, and that one off of him as well. And out of play for a throw. It's Morris throwing it forward, looking to get through to Karpathios. It's cleared up into the air off the Naces player. It's Morris keeps it in. McDowell elbows it forward and still with Kane McDowell here away from Stefanodakis turning away from Bell still with Kane McDowell still away from Stefanodakis and playing it inside and Karpathios just sees it out of play into touch for throw in Mountain throwing it down for Carr gets the headed flick on Barnaby Wood will come to put pressure on Turner. McAdam forward. Now a Jack A. Further on here. Sickles will need to do some hard running to win this, but he can't do so. Laguda, Ali Burt, now Tavian Ludvigson. Inside ball for Tom Ali Burt, looking to dink it over the top for Tavian Ludvigson. Now Laguda. And still advantage on here with the aces. Mifsud wide to Ludvigsen. That ball looks to go wide and not quite kept in by Ali Burt because the corner kick was lying in wait and the aces opt for that one instead. Quickly taken, Ludvigsen. Tackled there by Coombe and out of play for another corner. Perhaps this time they'll load long and aim to find a headed recipient. Here's Ali Burt to take this one. <laughs> In comes Ali Burt with a delivery. Waited well. Headed up there by Karpathios. Evans with the ball at the edge. Back for Mifsud. Loads it back into the box. McDowell rising, and that one almost paying dividends. And instead, out of play for another corner. This time from the far side. Dow headed out there this time by Turner. Mifsud back inside the box. Coming is McAdam. Look to get a fist to it. Ali Burt keeps it alive. Shot across and that one over the bar and out of play. Calls for a handball in amongst that kerfuffle. Ali Burt's ball across there off the arm there of Fitzmorris. Didn't put it out into an unorthodox position, henceforth no penalty, but definitely did strike the arm there. But he'll be let off for that one, even on replay. Wallace head up to Laguda. Carpathios poked out by Ali Burt. Hellenic really under the cosh here to defensively. They're very hungry to win this ball and the game in the laces at the moment. And advantage here with Mindel. In comes Ludvigsen. Cuts inside and outside, reviving eventually Sickles, but it's still Ludvigsen. Now Ali Burt blocked cross attempt. He'll get to his second ball at Jack A. Eventually there for Hellenic. He'll run out of his defensive half and overcooked the run was Paraskos Coombe. Evans away. Now Laguda. Wide for Wood. Back inside for Laguda. Still with Joshua Laguda, a good tussle with Nicholas Stefanodakis. Stefanodakis eventually in to win it and does win it. He didn't get forward and Mountain 
immediately clears to the other direction. And which we throw down the line and seems to be a handball there off mountain. It's adjudicated by the referee, I think, so. Ball forward to be played by Hellenic. Now Bell. Simon Bell advancing forward, pushed back. He'll find Carpathios. McNabb looking to dink it on for Bell, but doesn't quite work out. Very frustrated here are the Hellenic forwards. They're not being, they're being starved of supply at the moment. Evans looks to come forward. Wallace be pressured here by Roberto Sickles. Goes to ground again. And wins the set piece free kick. Wallace, the captain, across for Evans. Back for Jordan Stobart. Further wide for Mountain. Now Wallace come away from McNabb. Play this wide to Mountain. And just heeds in the direction of his captain. That's backwards. Playing ball from Tom for Tom Alibert. Now Barnaby Wood. Alibert looks to retrieve it back to Wood, but if it's Morris cut it out. Now Roberto Sickles. Need to find it for McNabb, not quite successful. Ludvigsen turning away from Trachilis. Looking to lay it through for Barnaby Wood, but McAdam can arrive and collect. Adam with a driven delivery, and it'll be driven all the way out of play for a throw. Certainly the better part of possession going the way of the aces at the moment. Carpathios out by Laguda back to George Carpathios Sickles combining in there Laguda comes out for the aces looking to send it wide for Ludvigsen seems a bit of a, a bit of a zip and spring on the pitch this evening a lot of balls being played and sliding out of play unnaturally now mounted Advancing forward with possession, Dylan Mountain. Now it's Matthew Wallace. Coming forward, a Jack A rising to make the header. So we'll come back to Kane McDowell of the Aces. From wide for Barnaby Wood. He was tackled by Fitzmorris and got past Fitzmorris and forced the contact and out of play. Throw in to the aces. Already 31 and a half minutes have gone by. It's just the solitary goal by James Carr that separates these two sides. A gooder forward. Looking for a lofted attempt, but that just is able to be lofted high and wide behind the goals for a goal kick. Speculative attempt was the words for it. He won't be phased at the moment. His side have a 1-0 advantage. And in the better half of that, McAdam goes forward. And out by Evans. Hellenic have 
a throw in. They're in there attacking half. Parthios to Sickles and now a Jeke. Jeke coming across here looking for Sevenodarkus. Tackle there and that passage comes to an end. McDowell over the top looking for Tavian Ludvigsen, but once again, ball would just zip out of play for a throw in. Trakila throwing long. For Hellenic player there and out of play. Be a throw in to Mindel. <laughs> throw in by Mifsud. Straight to Ludvigsen. Parthios getting in there ahead, but straight away brought back under possession by the Aces. Certainly have the majority of possession so far in this half. They've done the damage on the scoreline to show for it. Wide here for Mountain. <laughs> Driven across into the box. Ludvigsen looks to go to Carr. Dinks it back over to Tavian Ludvigsen. An opportunity here for the forward. Shaquille's looked to get it clear, but Jacke eventually wide for Carpathios. Short here for Paraskos Coombe. He comes to receive and tackled by Mifsud. And now Laguda all the way back to his goalkeeper. Jordan Stobart will receive with a lot of time. Now across for Evans. Fakes past Bell and looks to come forward. Kane McDowell. Evans with plenty of time and space. Wallace wide to Mountain. Back to Matthew Wallace. Wallace coming forward here. McNabb coming in with a challenge and look to win the ball there, but not quite. Quickly on the aces. Laguda wide for Mountain. Across here for Ali Burr. Brought to ground there, and that will be a judge free kick as well. It'll be Josh Laguda to deliver. They'll perhaps look for a set piece routine here. Laguda knows how to lay off a pass and I'll hope and see this one into a dangerous area. In comes Laguda. Off a step, he plays. Headed in there by Mifsud. McAdam across to collect. Rolls it short to Fitzmorris. Looks to come away from Laguda. Now to Matthew McNabb. Touches inside away from Mountain. Now Carpathios. Kane McAdam. Now it sits wide here for Sabas Trichilis. Picked off by Evans. This touch ends up further back from Ifsid. Tavin Ludwigson takes it. Down now to Ali Burt. Laguda. Barnaby Wood, a youngster on the ball again. Wide here for Ludvigsen, chipping it over the top. Looked for the run of Carr. Turner got it clear, and then a Jacke further out, looking for Roberto Sickles here. He is with Roberto. And now Matthew McNabb. Back for Carpathios. Coombe inside there. 
and free kick here against Helenic. Wide here for Laguda. Now Roberto Sickles. Still with Roberto Sickles now. Back for Matthew McNabb. Now George Carpathios. Seven minutes to go in this first half and Very long time to go, but Hellenic will want to try and build some momentum before the half. It looked to be threaded through for Coombe there, but Wallace picks it off. Jaquilis does the same for Hellenic, and now Matthew McNabb. Carpathios. Cross for Roberto Sickles, and now Matthew McNabb. Can't quite accelerate away to that one. He's been under an injury cloud these last couple weeks. Matthew McNabb, perhaps it's taking a toll. As Ludwigsen looks to find Carr, but Sickles plays it to Fitzmorris. Now Carpathios. Paraskos Coombe. Turns away from Mifsud and Laguda. Finds McNabb and his ball is weighted. Too much. Mifsud. Forward to McDowell. It's a chance here. A lot of space for Kane McDowell. Fancies the effort. Has a strike, and that's a wonderful save from Kane McAdam. McDowell made it count and muster a lot of power behind that attempt. And his strike. It's parry behind the post or a corner. Will be McDowell to strike the corner. Comes in for the delivery. Curling it across to Adam came to get the punch in. Coombe with possession, looking to send it forward. And it will be a Hellenic throw in here as well. Touch off. Mindel player on its way through. Keyless inside, searching for Sickles. Picked off there by Ali Bird. Now, Carr from distance has another strike and another wonderful save by Kane McAdam just to force that wide. Certainly found their focus here, the aces, and especially shots at goal. The makeshift center half has certainly shifted in gear forward wise this evening already on the score sheet from a McDowell corner and there's another one coming up can they capitalize once more in comes McDowell out by Trakilis Wallace with the header it'll come wide here for Ali Burt turns well and looks to win another corner and he is successful Aces with another opportunity to send the ball into the box and create an opportunity of some danger. Goes McDowell. Gets the header there, Wallace. Blocked off the line and Bell coming away for Hellenic, looking to get it clear. Mifsud here on the edge of the box. He'll play this wide to Kane McDowell. Referee says play on. Ball comes into the box. Trakilis with a clearing header. Car goes to ground. Stefanodakis out with possession, looking to lay it long. And that one looks to be a free kick there late on the Hellenic player. So it will be a free kick for them.
Yeah, a couple minutes left now. In this first half, it's the singular goal that separates the two. McAdam looks long. Coombe headers inside. Wallace away. Now Parascos Coombe again. Wallace and strong to win. Coombe tenacious as ever for the second challenge. Ball comes over the top here. Evans gets an initial header to it. So it's McNabb on the edge of the area. McNabb has a shot blocked by Laguda. Sickles rising in for a challenge. It'll come wide here for Nicholas Stefanodakis who looked to leap away from Laguda and he's brought to ground. Free kick for Hellenic. A very dangerous time to give away a foul of this nature and in this area. A minute and a half of regulation time to go. Could be made to pay from this situation. Karpathios has already scored from a free kick this year, as has Tegere Jeke. Jeke looks to be the one that's most interested. Wall of two. And in comes a Jeke, curling it and arriving late and around the wall. But Jordan Stobart collects that one. It's a good strike from Tegera Jeke. Perhaps not curling enough to really trouble Stobart into a great save there. But nonetheless comes up with an adequate one to deal with the danger. McAdam throws out for Turner. Now looks wide here for Matthew McNabb. Showed a bit of burst of pace there to get past Mountain. And it's still Matthew McNabb cuts inside. Brought to ground there, all ball, says the referee, as Wallace looks to come out of defence for the Aces. McDowell chests it down and can come out here through Carr. And he'll look to go long. Launching delivery. It'll roll through here to Kane McAdam. And collects and immediately throws wide to Savas Trochilis. Perhaps they can end the half on top in terms of field play. Stefanodakis to Coombe. Still with Paraskos Coombe. Across to George Karpathios. Jack A marching forward. Reach the end of regulation time. Because a Jack A goes for a long attempt, and that one needed to be saved by Jordan Stobart. Some power struck in that attempt, and goalkeeper wasn't sure whether that one was just sailing over and needed to make a touch. Could be one of the final passages of play, this corner kick. And can they utilize it to draw level? So we look to close out the half. Many thanks as well to Ward Keller, Territory Law Firm, personal and business dispute resolution experts, and Diamond Barbers. Book them today in three locations, Parat Bellamac and the Darwin CBD. It's George Carpathios circling in with a delivery. He'll come back post, but... Jordan Stobart is able to gather. Referee's whistles in the mouth and it blows. End of the first 45 minutes. The Aces go into it with a 1-0 advantage, courtesy of James Carr with a scrambling shot in after a good corner kick delivery by Kane McDowell. Coach Daniel McCormick for the Aces will be extremely happy with his side showing so far. Atlantic coach Jimmy Galanopoulos will need to make some changes and we'll see which of those are made. We'll have a quick break and then be rejoined back with you for the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere.
Thank you for rejoining us, ladies and gentlemen, for the second half of this Men's Premier League match here. Last match of the season. And the Aces have a one goal to nil advantage, courtesy of a James Carr finish. Double change at the half as well for Hellenic. Roberto Sickles and Savas Trikilis, the men to make way. Keelan Scott and Stilianos Rontos, the men that enter the fray. Big 45 minutes coming up as we are set to be entertained once again. It'll be tight. And the aces right to left. Kedaskelves kicked off and underway. 
Laguda sending this forward. Turner with the header out, falls to Carpathios, and now fits Morris White to Coombe. Still Paraskos Coombe advancing forward. Pace and skills to dazzle alike. And he has a shot from distance, blocked off by Mountain. And immediately Hellenic announcing their attacking intentions for this second half. Just past, or just about to tick over to 9.30 p.m. local time. And you wouldn't want to be anywhere else on a Friday evening. And comes the delivery from Coombe. Headed out by the Aces and then further along by Tom Alibur. Keelan Scott looked to come across and neutralize, but Tavian Ludvigson has possession. Looks to dink it over here for Barnaby Wood. He's made an attacking run. Barnaby Wood looking to come away from Fitzmorris. Holds him up for the moment. Still Barnaby Wood. Forced back by Carpathios. And then Ali Burt plays it wide to Tavian Ludvigson. And Ludvigson coming past Scott. Across to Kane McDowell. And now Laguda from distance has a strike. And that one over the bar. And it's a goal. Joshua Laguda. Puts it into the back of the net. And the Aces, that goal might be the one that they need. And it's a rocket of a goal by Joshua Laguda. Not sure anyone expected that to go in. Kane McDowell playing it back for Laguda, and he goes whack. And at the end of the day, I think it came off Kane McAdam. And that puts the Aces now two goals to the good, two minutes into the second half. And as things stand, they will finish as Premiers and go into the final series with top spot. Barnaby Wood tackled off there and out of play will be a Aces throw. Now Laguda. Now it's Joshua Evans. Now Evans once more. Further back to Stobart. Laguda. Back to Evans. Laguda. Looking to play possession at the moment now. Evans sends this one wide. Dinked it perfectly for Tavian Ludvigsen. Falling at the forward's feet. Across goal. McAdam gets a outstretched hand. And saw it behind for a corner. The Aces getting really back into the swing of things in no time at all. And very almost there, Ludvigsen capitalising. Carr coming across in with a sliding attempt to try and drive it into the back of the net. But Kane McAdam with the outstretched hand ensured that wasn't to be the case. But a corner kick nonetheless now for Kane McDowell. Fitzmorris gets things cleared. He clears it far and wide for a throw in. It's Morris. Coom. Now Alex Fitzmorris back wide finds Parascos Coom. Coombe looking for options. He likes to go wide. Falls here to Keelan Scott. Substitute forward for Matthew McNabb. And he looks to play it through here in a dangerous spot for Stylianos Rontos. And Wallace coming in. And it's out of play for a goal kick. Certainly has dangerous pace on the far side. Stylianos Rontos. And he'll look to utilize that in droves. He can find a good 
run at goal. Certainly has scored his fair share of finishes as well. Big goal kick here from Stobart. Stobart launches long. Papathios gets the header to it. Evans looks to go back the other way. And now Keelan Scott to give it immediately. But that ball going out. No finding a teammate advantage there. Now Stobart. Back out wide for Evans. Now Laguda. here for Kane McDowell. Barnaby Wood. Lifts it. Jack A cuts it out. He's got Carpathios here in space. Now Matthew McNabb looking to play this forward and wide, but this one will come straight through to the goalkeeper. Jordan Stobart can just have this one. Guda across for Evans and now wider to Mifsud. Stephanodakis picks it out. Mifsud back to Evans. Now Laguda. Now Evans. Joshua Laguda. Wallace looks to go forward and find Barnaby Wood in good space. Off of Fitzmorrison out of play for an ace's throw. Hellenic throw out of this play here now. Given away to Mountain. Cut out by Stefanodakis, but only to the advantage of McDowell. And Wallace joining in on the attack. Turner away. Now to Summon Bell. Matthew McNabb back to Summon Bell. Ali Burt getting in there to cut it out. Still advancing forward is Evans. Now Barnaby Wood. Going forward here. Looking to play into a dangerous area. Keelan Scott making a great challenge. Taken away from Ali Burt. McNabb arriving. Heavy touch. Keeps it in. And now Stilianos Frontos. It's come out here wide to the forward and Substitute away from Laguda. Still Vrontos. Looking to play it wide here for Paraskos Coombe. Advancing through and that one. Couldn't quite work it out amongst his feet. Paraskos Coombe and Jordan Stobart thankfully is able to arrive and take it in his stride and immediately lash it forward. Turner. McAdam. Turner across for a Jekke. Now Stefanodakis. Could that opportunity burst on Hellenic with some confidence? Paraskos Coombe still. Look to lay it wide and a free kick and a yellow card here to Dylan Mountain. Of exciting defending there. Uh, 
and a free kick of some distance here. It's Carpathios. And Sethodakis over it. Look to be left for Carpathios. Perhaps a set piece opportunity. Dinking it over the top. Evans gets the header to it. McNabb rises. Not able to get contact. McDowell out of defense eventually. And Stefanodakis heads wide to Fitzmorris. And now Turner back and forth. Stefanodakis driving it for Bell. And he looked to find Brontos slipping over. It's come out to Matthew McNabb still. Tackle eventually by Matthew Wallace. McDowell out of defense. And now Carr. Looking to help it further on for Ludvigsen, but Keelan Scott's got time, and he elects to play it back to his goalkeeper, Kane McAdam. Now Alex Turner. Keelan Scott. Turner. Fitzmorris. Still here. Hellenic coming out of defence. McNabb thinks it over the top. Good run made here by Paraskos Koum. Touches it inside, dinking a ball over the top, looking for Bell having the shot and goes out of play for a corner. Hellenic slowly, slowly creating opportunities to look to get them back into it. And this corner may help. Parthios to gather. And can he find a teammate who has come forward to provide aerial support? Ball by Carpathios is sent wide and out of play. Didn't even come into the field of play, unfortunately for him. Stobart sending this one long. Scott arriving to contest and wasn't quite able to. Free kick given away. The Aces can take this one. Evans short to Ali Burt. Back to Evans. Looking wide for Ludvigsen. Now Joshua Evans returns the ball to Ludvigsen. Still, Tavian Ludvigsen gets past Scott. Stefanodakis dinking it out and is made to rue a challenge there. Yellow card for Ali Burt. Yellow card offence there from the midfielder. With the finals game to play next week, it may be one of those factors that Coach Daniel McCormick might take into consideration soon. Of course, Mountain and you know, Ali Bird on cautions. Likewise for Fitzmorris and Hellenic. Laguda forward. Stefano Darkus cushions as well. Tom Alibert comes away with possession. Looks to thread a needle through for Wood, but too much on the pa pass, and it comes for McAdam. Now Scott. Turner, rather. The captain. Back to McAdam. And now Fitzmorris looking to come out of defence for Hellenic. Driving inside, utilising his pace. Coombe takes it in. for Bell, taking it on for McNabb. Still with Matthew McNabb, looking to drive to Wood's goal. Still with Matthew McNabb. Look to find Coombe, but the ball's been given away once again. Ludvigsen. Still Tavian Ludvigsen. 
Skillfully done to Mifsud. Dinks it away from Stefanodakis. And Stefanodakis getting front position. Now it's Tilianos Frontos. Looks to come down the line away from Lakuda. Across goal. Paraskos Coombe. And he blazes it over. An opportunity for Hellenic to eat into this lead. And goes over the bar. Chance goes amiss there for the Blues. And with 15 minutes expired now in this second half, it'll be opportunities few and far between and to make those count, especially in a massive occasion like this. Stobart forward. Carr looks to head it on. Ajeke is there as well. Carr receives it from McDowell and looks to come away from Tegger Ajeke. Still with James Carr. Back to Mountain. And Fitzmaurice controlling it. That went out. Pryor. Lennick throw in. In for Carpathios. Heavy touch, but the midfielder controls it to Matthew McNabb. Raskos Coom now for Hellenic. And there is a free kick there behind the ball. Hellenic wanting to get things underway quickly. Stefanodakis to Carpathios. Back to Stefanodakis. And now Coom looking to play into the path of Stefanodakis, but that ball was cut out. Turn up for the Blues. And Ludvigsen coming away with possession. Out of play for a Hellenic throw. McNabb. McNabb and Ali Burt. And there's a free kick in there against Matthew McNabb. Free kick on Evans. at forward now Evans Jekke heads away McDowell and Stefanodakis Barnaby Wood it's Morrison there as well Wood does great goes to ground and forces its way out for a goal kick Quickly and underway, the Blues. George Carpathios on the ball to Matthew McNabb, dropping in a deeper position. Looking to dink it wide, and that one is, goes out of play a little too wide. Mindelace's throw. Yes, it throws down the line. Pushing it well for Ludvigsen. Carpathios in there as well. Tom Alibert. Away from one. And a second. And just to find the pass of Ludvigsen. And off Scott. Out of play. Lindel throw. Lifts <laughs> it throw to Ludvigsen. And he goes to ground. Keelan Scott will go into the book there. Yellow card. Free kick for Mindel to launch something into the box. In comes Laguda. Launches it well. Got to get a car there, a header there by Carr, not quite successful. Back post there, Turner out to Coombe. And Coombe looking inside for Bell. It'll find its way to the forward, but Wallace gets the header. Frontos looking to arrive and gets a challenge in. 
Stefanodakis back to Ujeke. The defender joining in the cause. It'll come out through to Summon Bell. Turns away from Wallace. Still Summon Bell poking it through for McNabb, and that one goes all the way through. Goalkeeper's ball there, Jordan Stobart, and he will invite the Hellenic contingency to force him to gather. <laughs> now mounted. Jack A arrives across and chests it down comfortably. Plays it forward for George Karpathios. Now Paraskos Coombe. Away from McDowell. It's Coombe looking for an inside ball blocked off there by McDowell. Matthew Wallace chasing back. Stobart to Laguda. Now Stobart across to Evans. Now Mifsud. Blocked off there. McNabb and out of play for goal kick. A substitution for Hellenic to take place. Alex Fitzmorris coming from the field. And coming on to replace him will be number 25, and that's going to be John Malis. So Fitzmaurice departing from the far side. And Malis on in his place. Of course, cautions come into factoring in finals football. And you won't want to be without one of your premier defenders if you're Demi Galanopoulos in the Hellenic camp. Scott heads into the air. Carpathios troubled underneath it. Referee says nothing doing. Turner with possession for the Blues. And tries to invite Paraskos Coombe to the fray, but his pass is a little overcooked. And it will trail out and behind for the goalkeeper to gather. <laughs> Stobart launches high and long into the night sky. He'll come out here for Wood. Car in there as well. A Jack A steals possession. Now Carpathios back for Alexander Turner. Scott can't quite find Coombe with a ball through, and that goes out of play for a throw. And he thanks again to the Northern Territory government and McDonald's for their continued and prolonged support for football for all in the NT. Ward Keller as well, Territory Law Firm, personal and business dispute resolution experts. You can reach them on 1-800-978-360. It's 1-800-978-360. Diamond Barbers, three locations, Parat Bellamac and the Darwin CBD. Book now in 2022 and stay fresh with Diamond Barbers. And it is Hellenic with a very much advantageous position. Goals to... James Carr and Joshua Laguda give them a two goal to nil advantage with just over 20 minutes to go. Injury over there to Dillon Mountain to contend with. Might look to come off to the far side. Substitution's been indicated by the medical team. As the Aces get things back underway. McNabb sees it out of play. Mountain rejoins us for the moment, but is to be substituted immediately, I suppose. will depart from the far side. Dylan Mountain and on in his place is Taiki Kudo. 
the club veteran the man who's been there through thick and thin the good times and the bad and he joins us now for the 20 minutes that remain <laughs> the jacket comes across here for Malis now Stephanodakis back to Malis Carpathios Kane McDowell the aces on a counter attack here to Aiki Kudo the substitute immediately on the ball and looking to drive another attack forward Barnaby Wood coming to this but McAdam can arrive first and get to the ball Immediately up for Karpathios and now Matthew McNabb. Come away from Tom Alibert. Back for Coombe and now Karpathios. Looks for a long ball and Stobart's able to gather. And now Mifsud. Matthew Mifsud pressured late. Comes to Ludvigsen. Malis is there with him. Now Laguda. Car. Alibert. Space to drive. Comes wide to Barnaby Wood. Coming into the box here. Wood headed out by Stefan Adakis. And now Turner in there with Laguda. And now McDowell. Kudo. Barnaby Wood. And now Paraskos Coom. And referee will be forced to blow things to a halt. Joshua Laguda stays to ground, but back to his feet immediately. And Wallace coming out of Defense with possession, but McNabb still on it off. And Simon Bell for Hellenic, an opportunity perhaps through the middle. Bell flicks it forward, but great intervention there from Taiki Kudo. Raskos Coombe hot in his heels, but Taiki Kudo was able to dink it wide just, and just he did. So, out of play for a corner. his corner this time drives it inside to the box a Jekka gets a header and that one goes high and over the bar goal kick and a substitution for the aces to take place number seven Fernando Prigic he'll be coming onto the field and he looks to be replacing James Carr the man who was sent forward from center half to do a job and he certainly had done that the better part of seven of 75 minutes. And Fernando Prigic, number seven, is on. goes Stobart headed into the air by McNabb Bell rises to get ahead of to it and is coming from an offside position with Simon Bell free kick to Mindel Look to come long here and find Prigic but Malis gets to it now Stelianos Vontos looking to lure in Mifsud and now Vontos can pace away Silianos Rontos whips it in. Evans gets it clear. And out of play for a corner kick. Another one for Hellenic to utilise. Coombe will look to come across and take with his left foot and curl it into the box. 
least that'll be the route one attempt for his side. in with a delivery looking for a teammate at gets to it Scott at the edge of the box heads back for Carpathios Barnaby Wood away and is fouled by Carpathios play on quickly here the Aces interesting decision the runs on here Ludvigsen Prigic on the other side can't quite find him deflects off the Hellenic man and now it's Tavian Ludvigsen still back to Laguda Barnaby Wood Tom Alibert invites th the veteran in Matthew Mifsud. He'll loft one into the box, perfectly weighted out by Stephanodakis and Carpathios now out of defence. Scott forward to Matthew McNabb and he can drive forward past halfway looking for an avenue here. Come wide to Paraskos Coombe and he won't be able to get to it. Jordan Stobart arriving and saving and throwing wide. Taiki Kudo. McDowell. To Kudo. Back here for Jordan Stobart. Now Laguda. He drives this wide to Fernando Prigic. Run inside from Ali Burt. Elects to go that direction. And the Frenchman away from Carpathios and finds Barnaby Wood in space. Barnaby Wood against Turner. Looking to go into the box. Ludvigsen with it. Pressured by Jeke. Forced to come back here and Turner will look to arrive and does so on first before Kudo. Aces throw in here. Just over 10 minutes to go. Not long for Hellenic to completely turn things around. Of course, a win is needed to finish as premiers. But as it currently stands, it looks like the Aces will take that honour. Substitution for the Aces. Number 12, Kyriakos Timotheou will be coming onto the pitch very shortly. And coming off for him. Both assists this evening. Kane McDowell. He produced a magical goal in his team's run to the Australia Cup. And two great assists to look to create some more history for his proud club. And they're only over just over 10 minutes away from that fact. Taiki Kudo. Wide for Barnaby Wood. Sprung the offside trap, Tavian Ludvigsen. Onside, flag stays down. Looking to come over into the middle here. Tom Alibert receives possession and space and has a shot for himself. And only goes behind for a goal kick. Let off on that occasion. Fancied the shot, why not? McAdam drives this forward. Went to get the flick on there was McNabb, but Evans away and Timotheo forward. Keelan Scott to Coombe. And now Matthew McNabb. Wide for Stilianos Rontos, away from Mifsid. Rontos has the attempt, and that one goes wide, unfortunately for him. Goal kick. when he thinks as well the steel line and NTF steel line service over and above and NTF your local construction supplier goal 
Goal kick for the Aces. Stobart launches it. Out by, or lofted forward rather by Ludvigsen, uh, Laguda. Looking to find Ludvigsen was Joshua Laguda, but uh, he finds a Hellenic player in a Jeke. Now Keelan Scott. Going wide here. See the Arnos Frontos away from Mifsud. Offside flag stays down. Frontos enters the box. Still with Silianos Frontos looking to come inside. Forward here for McNabb in a position and quick fire shot, quick fire save. Matthew McNabb puts it behind. Hellenic will think there's still time and they certainly might have an opportunity if this is to go in. Parascos Coombe across to take the corner. Play is arriving for a set piece delivery. In by Coombe. Finds the head of Stephanodakis, but that one, with not a lot of intent, goes behind and out of play. Another substitution to be in the offing for the Aces. That one looks to be made shortly. Meantime, play goes on. Mifsud, back to Evans. Now Stobart. Right here for Matthew Wallace. Now Jordan Stobart. Evans. Laguda. Back to Evans. Now Jordan Stobart. Fortunately for him, possession surrendered. Singular change for the Aces coming up. Number 14, Nicholas Yacht to enter the fray. They look to be replacing Matthew Mifsud. A double change for Hellenic as well. A big Simon Bell's goal scorer coming off the field. Replaced by Manoli Jalouris. And Parascos Coombe coming off for Ross Bilius. The yellow card shown there for Matthew Mifsud. Carpathios. Comes wide here to Malus. back to a Jeke. Now Bilius. Dinking it wide for Turner. And turns away from Ali Burt. Matthew McNabb looking to hold possession for Turner, but Laguda gets him with a clearance. Wood short to Tom Ali Burt. Now Taiki Kudo. Ali Burt. And free kick conceded by Keelan Scott and the laces free kick they send it wide here for Yacht Malus gets there to Matteo wide to Nicholas Yacht substitute Aces continue the attack to Matteo inside here for Ludvigsen Bilius arriving now Stefan Adarkas Matthew McNabb away from Evans now Carpathios back to McNabb. And McNabb gives the ball away. Barnaby Wood advancing forward for Tavian Ludvigsen with a strike. And that one took all unawares there and almost in the back of the net there from Tavian Ludvigsen. A near attempt. Goal kick nonetheless. McAdam comes short to Ejeke. Now George Carpathios. Stephanodakis. Keelan Scott outstretched, wins the ball and plays it wide here for Silianos Vrontos, looking to come away here from Yacht. Vrontos across, and that goes into the back of the net. Jalouris scores, and it's 2-1. Just over five minutes to go. And 
Game back on, perhaps. Not much time. But they'll think they have an opportunity. Hellenic, a win is required to change the respective result of the league. The Aces get us kicked off and back underway. Taiki Kudo. Ali Bird over there. Timotheo coming away, but now it's a Jack A. And Oli Jaluris, the goal scorer, to McNabb. McNabb dinking it over the top, looking for Stilianos Rontos. Dangerous touch inside. Stilianos Rontos looking to come away from Yacht. And Evans gets across and neutralizes the danger. They'll be much more attentive to the pace of Rontos for sure for the remainder of this game. Long throw by Vrontos. Evans, short header away. Now Tom Alibert. Alibert wide to Fernando Prigic. And now Tavian Ludvigsen. No real hurry to collect possession, but retrieves it and looks to go against Malis. Fernando Prigic cuts inside on the right as a shot. And that one goes wide. Goal kick for Hellenic. Three and a half minutes if you're... A Hellenic fan, time is evaporating very quickly. If you're an Aces fan, ever so agonizingly long. Fair say there might be a chunk of additional time to follow the 90 minutes. Hellenic go long. Turner looking to play it to Jaluris, headed out by Wallace, and now Timotheo across for Evans. Into the center for Wallace. Scott looking to arrive, and dangerous challenge there from Keelan Scott. Need to be very careful here. Already on a yellow card. And referee will just invite the captain over, just to ensure that Hellenic don't leave this match with less men on it than they started. Taiki Kudo. Timothy. Timothy turns and plays it back to Ali Burt. And now Tavian Ludvigsen rolls it wide to Barnaby Wood. Good ball across. And McAdam just can collect. Out here for Matthew McNabb. And taken away by Laguda. And it is a throw in for the Aces. Thrown in by Yacht, looks for Ludvigsen. Perhaps time to neutralize some of that time as Yacht goes in with the cross and looking to get a speculative attempt off was Barnaby Wood as a substitution can take place. And Barnaby Wood is the man to be withdrawn. And he will come off in place of number 13. That's Gabriel Kelly. Winger off for a defensive like-minded player. And now comes wide here. Taiki Kudo with pace. Boost away from Bilius. Taiki Kudo still. Chance again for the Aces. Comes out to Tavian Ludvigsen, blocked by a Jack A. And this one will bounce out to Scott. Back and under pressure immediately is George Karpathios. McAdam with the ball. Driving a long attempt here. Brontos. Takes possession down and Evans away. Goes out of play for a corner kick. Chances now few and far between. But there is one at the very end for the Blues. And the 
goalkeeper Kane McAdam has made the trip forward for this one. And goes Jalouris. And Stobart able to gather. Free kick there against Hellenic. And we've come to the end of regulation time. And referees borrowed time at the moment. And the aces are only minutes away of a very historical feat. Stobart sends it wide. Taiki Kudo underneath it. Bilius is able to get the ball. Timotheo comes on the challenge by Turner. Kept alive there, but there is a free kick for Hellenic late on here. And they could send the ball into a dangerous area. Players have come forward at Jeke. Vrontos in the back post. Bilius inside, in comes Stefan Adarkas and Gabe Kelly. Now Tom Alibert, Ludvigson signals. It's Kelly still, looks to play through the guts of the field. Alibert makes the run and is away from Stefan Adarkas. It's Tom Alibert, can they secure it here? Gabe Kelly leaves it for Ludvigson and he curls it. And Nakata makes the save. Selfless there from Gabe Kelly probably could have struck it himself, but he allowed it to go for Tavian Ludvigsen. And that one through to the goalkeeper. Players remain to ground here, Nicholas Stefanodakis. Looks to be a bit of a cramp. Should be okay to continue. McAdam rolls it short. Long goes his ball. Evans brings it down. Launches it up and high. Ellis gets the header there. Referee has a gaze at the watch. Carpathios back to McAdam. Headed forward there. Dabuda's clearance blocked. Evans further upfield. Stefanodakis underneath. Carpathios arriving as well. Tom Alibert trying to win possession. He's done so. Ludvigsen wide for Taiki Kudo. The Aces want more goals. Taiki Kudo across to Tavian Ludvigsen. Still with Ludvigsen. Dinking it all the way wide. Kelly will race across and keep it in. Gabe Kelly. Looks to take it to the corner flag. Hold up possession and out of play for an Aces throw. Kelly throws it in for Ludvigsen. Still Ludvigsen. And that goes out of play. Referee. Blows. And that's it. 42 years the Aces have had to wait. And after 42 years, the Mindel Aces Football Club will finish the 2022 regular season as premiers, the first time that feat has been achieved. And they will go into the final series in top spot. And they'll play the fourth place team, which at the moment is the Darwin Hearts. Next Friday, Hellenic have a showdown with Kajarina next Friday night. And the tale as it told, James Carr opened the scoring through a great Corner kick by Kane McDowell and a Joshua Laguda. Long attempt soared over the line by McAdam and then very, very late. And Oli Jalouris thought that he had one back for the Blues, but it wasn't to be. The Aces, two goals to one. Victors, they end the season victorious and they end the season premiers. A 42-year wait is put to an end. Premiers, I'm into Aces. My name's George Scoofez and it's been a pleasure to have you this Friday evening. We have some more football coming at you tomorrow, 4 o'clock, Port Darwin and the Hearts, and then 8 o'clock, University of Zurich taking on Darwin Olympic. Until then, have a safe evening. We'll see you tomorrow.